Number 23. Show that the total force on a rectangular dam due to the water behind it increases with the square of the water depth. In particular, show that this force is given by F is equal to rho GH squared L divided by 2, where rho is the density, H is the depth, and L is the length of the dam. You may assume the face is vertical. Calculate, this is the hint, right? Calculate the average pressure exerted and multiply this by the area in contact with the water. All right, so uh, here's the picture. All right, what I did was I just kind of redrew it a little bit. I just drew the face of the dam a little differently. Um, so what we can do here uh, in terms of our picture, right? Pretend that this whole area is filled up with water. Okay, and what I'm going to do, uh, in order to find the average pressure, let's say, on this face in red, we can look at it as finding the pressure at the top, and then finding the pressure at the bottom, and then simply just dividing it by two. All right, that would be finding the average pressure on this entire rectangular surface in red. All right, so I'll call this, I'll call this arrow right here. Uh, this one will be, let's call it, P sub T for pressure at the top. This one down here will be uh, P sub B for bottom, okay? So to find the average pressure, just like I mentioned, the average pressure will be equal to the pressure at the top uh, plus the pressure at the bottom, all divided by two. Now, in terms of pressure at the top, Okay, in terms of the pressure that the uh, dam experiences here right at the top is actually zero. Why is that the case? We'll take a look at this formula over here on the right-hand side. Okay, this talks about pressure on a, on a certain uh, vertical height given the height of the, uh, given the height or the depth of the water multiplied by the density and then multiplied by gravity. So what I can do here is I can basically substitute these variables on in for both of my pressures. Okay. So we have P average now will be equal to the pressure at the top, which would be the height at the top, which that's zero, all right? Multiplied by the density, multiplied by gravity, plus now the height at the bottom, multiplied by the density, multiplied by gravity, all divided by two. Remember this thing is zero. And therefore this whole term cancels. So I just have this term the, that the average pressure on this rectangular wall here will be equal to the height, whatever my bottom height is here, okay, whatever the bottom height is, and that can change, right? That could be a little higher or a little lower, whatever. I'm leaving it as the variable, but that's going to be the height at the bottom multiplied by the density of the fluid multiplied by gravity all divided by two. Okay, so now here we, we are talking about now the average pressure that this rectangular wall experiences given the initial, you know, height here, aka the initial pressure, and the final height, AKA the final pressure, basically. So now what I need to do is somehow uh, relate what I found here to now force. So you're thinking about, well, how does pressure relate to force? And it relates via this equation over here on the right-hand side. Right. This says that the pressure will be equal to the force divided by the area, okay? In other words, the average pressure will equal the average force divided by the area over which that force is applied. So I can just solve this for force, right? Simply do a cross multiplication so it becomes pressure multiplied by area. Now what I'm going to do is substitute in my pressure that I found over here in for P in my new equation, right? So this is going to be the height at the bottom uh, multiplied now by the uh, density multiplied by gravity all divided by 2, okay? Now multiplied by the area, all right? Multiplied by the area of the... Uh, the area of the dam that is in contact with the water. So if we look at my picture over here, uh, how would we represent the area that the water is in contact uh, with the dam? If Remember, this whole thing is just filled in with water, right? It's the red box, okay? It's the red rectangle. And therefore, that red rectangle has dimensions L by H, where H here, right, is the full height of what I represented down at this particular location as well in terms of the height that I was talking about for the pressure at the bottom. So really this height here is the same as this height over here, okay? Now I can write now in terms of my, um, you know, area uh, substitution in here, I can write L times now H sub B. You can also just write just H. If you write just H here, just change this 
to just height as well. It doesn't really matter, all right? As long as we know what we are talking about. So now in terms of just, you know, mathematically uh, combining these terms, we have density times gravity, okay? So that's density times gravity times an HB times HB. Oh, that's HB squared. I'm gonna leave it as just height now, just H, okay? Just so that we can show how it's similar to the formula at the top. Then that multiplied by L all over now too. And there it is. Voila. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time.